Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, let's see how we can calculate team member performance in Excel. This, this template is fully automated. For example, now you can see the target per hour is 15 and based on this column D information is updated or reflected. So the moment if I make the changes from target per hour from 15 to 25, please notice column D, press enter, you can see the targets are getting changed. Let me do control Z and likewise you have the productivity weightage, quality weightage as 0.3 and 0.7 respectively. However, you can make the changes as per your requirement. You can make it here as 0.4, 0.6 or you can make it as 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 equally for both productivity and quality. Now for this demo, I have taken uh, 10 members, team members details like team member 1 to team member 10. However, you can add n number of team member. All you need to do is just copy this entire data from here and paste it until the last row. Then for this uh, uh, performance, for team members performance calculation, I have taken two uh, activities. One is the productivity percentage the productivity and uh, the other one is the quality so you can also add few more like uh, number of process improvement ideas and then uh, number of unplanned leave uh, number of uh, and compliance so likewise you can add few more but for me I have taken only two just for this demo now that we understand the uh, the parameters let's check in detail what are the details we have in this the first point is number of hours worked in a month so we have uh, this again these are random numbers so in a month we uh, assuming that we work from Monday to Friday so you should have 160 hours so I've just taken some random numbers you cannot take the complete 160 hours is based on number of hours available actual available for example if the person is on leave so you need to take out if the person is not working on these activities that you need to remove so I just taken few numbers here then you have the total target so total target let me press F2 from the keyboard before that let me uh, click on this to have the complete view okay uh, now uh, the total target I press F2 from the keyboard to understand the formula C7 you can see number of work hours in a month multiplied by the target per hour so you have 15 here so this will give the total target and then uh, it's the same formula we have for uh, entire uh, all the uh, cells and then you have the total achieved total achieved again is a free text the numbers whatever you, it is achieved you need to update here then you can calculate the productivity percentage so how do you calculate productivity percentage let me press f2 from the keyboard so here uh, total achieved divided by total target so here you can see since the total achieved is more than the target so it is more than 100 percent so in this case is 110 percent likewise here 109 and for team member c3 you can see uh, the target productivity percent is 99 percent since the target is 1935 uh, team member 3 achieved 1919 so it is less than 100 percent so likewise we have the data for all the 10 team members and then you have the productivity ranking productivity ranking so again simple I have used simple uh, rank function rank and then I use uh, the first one is F7 is the first team members we are comparing with the, all the team members so you will get the rank so you have from 1 to 10 so then I have used uh, simple conditional formatting uh, let me show you how I did this conditional formatting uh, let me uh, reduce this size yeah so what I did is I just copy this uh, entire column and go to home tab conditional formatting and uh, uh, let me go to manage rules which I already applied to show you what I did uh, if you notice here cell value between 1 to 2 I have given green uh, between 3 to 4 I have given amber and between 5 to 10 I have given red so let me show you how I did so again going back here conditional formatting I need to click on new rule and here the format only cell that contain this option I need to select and then here cell value between here is what I need to type it as 1 to 2 
one to two is what I have taken as green again it's depend on you how you want to do it so one to two then you go to format and you select this green and click OK now since I already applied so I'm not clicking OK likewise uh, between uh, uh, three to four I have taken uh, amber again go to format select this amber so remaining again here uh, 5 to 10 I go format here and then I click on red so this is how the formatting is done for all these uh, cells and now now that we have this productivity let's see how the quality percentage is calculated so number of errors so again this is a free text which you can update so when you are processing when your team members is processing invoices or uh, care doing cash application or posting the journals they make some errors here yeah? so uh, when they are targeting when they are uh, uh, achieved like for example team member one if this person two two one one when he tried to process two two thousand two hundred twenty one invoices he made like 28 errors so we are we are comparing this errors against the total achieved so the formula will be let me press f2 i have taken uh, this number of errors divided by total uh, errors so again i have minus uh, made it one minus total number of errors compared with the total number of uh, invoice process so this is how I got the quality percentage and again this uh, quality ranking we already discussed again conditional formatting we already discussed then uh, here is the overall uh, percentage so let me press F2 from the keyboard to understand the formula so what I've done is F7 you already know the productivity percentage 110.0 0 then multiplied by we are taking productivity weightage as 0 0.3 in this case plus then again uh, the quality is uh, uh, i7 and multiplied by 0 0.7 so I have taken the quality I have given weightage for more and quality again it's all depend as I told in the initial you can make it 0 0.4 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 0 0.5 so this how I have calculated press enter now this is the same formula I extended until the last row <coughs> so then overall ratings the same format <coughs> the same way how we calculate the productivity ranking and quality ranking the overall ranking is calculated I hope this video is useful and it is uh, in case if you need any clarification on any of this topic please feel free to write it in comments box I can uh, so that I can answer to your question thank you